Friday at morning guys and welcome back to today's video. I've got every animal we own in this room with us. No, okay, not every animal. Every house animal. We got the cat. We got the dog. We got the other dogs. And we got the Sophie. Sophie likes to spend her money and she got a package. Would you, where'd you order from? Tina. I've been busy baking. I made apple crisp and brownies. These are going out to the chickens. These are going out to the horses. Sophie used a giant knife. Well, to I open her package. Other knives. All right. So I got lip plumper. Here, I'll open it. All right. I ran out of mine of this, and I'm really excited because I ran out of mine. So she got lip plumper because she needs more plump lips for all those boys she's kissing. I'm I've ob never even kissed a boy. I know. Not me neither. I'm just joking, Can't you guys. Pink? Oh. It's just a joke. When you tease your kids little tiny bits like that, it helps them learn not this to be like so serious, and it makes it easier for them to get along in the world. Let me see that. It is freaking cute. Look at it. Lip plump. Yeah. Super cute. Then Love it. More of these things for my crochet. She because ordered more of these things. These are like, are these the kind that I have? The kind that I have. Oh, you have them too? Oh, she ordered more of these things for her crochet. They're, they're space markers. So they mark your spot where you're, when you're crocheting. And then, oh, these nails. Wait, does it come with more than one pattern? Hold up. Hold up. I don't know what I ordered. All she knows is that she can order from Timu for really cheap and oh, get a lot for her money, so she enjoys it. These, so. Let's see. Oh, these are cute. So these are nails. I swear I ordered cow print nails. But, but but do they? How do you put them on your fingers? They're just. Like, they're like the ones that you got from the Royal Winter Fair. I guess so, but they're supposed to be like bigger. Oh. Cow print ones, but she ordered cow print ones. Maybe the cow print ones are in there still, or maybe they just traded it up for you because well, that would have been stupid. Oh, these nails, those are are those cow print? They're like Dalmatian. Let me see, spotted. they're cute. She loves spotted things. Yeah. Paint splotch nails. She ordered a bunch of nails. <laughs> it's and gonna be the season patches. of nails, pimple patches. Oh, these nails are pretty. Those are pretty nails. Oh, look at these cow ones. Cow ones, cow print nails. Wow, you ordered a lot of nails. Sophie goes through a lot of nails. And then I ordered a bunch of nail glue because I didn't know if any came with nail glue. Nail glue. And then I think this is the last one. Yeah. Um, blush. That is actually really cute. I love Timu. People batch it all the time. I love it. It's like going to the dollar store, but staying home. Let's see. Wow, that is your color, though. Oops. That's actually Sophie's color. Here, let me show it. That's... I've never had a baby pink one. Sophie is like a summer. She She's a summer. She looks really good in light colors. Brush on the other side. Yeah, that is cool. So this is the color. Super cute, and then on the end, on the other end, it has a little brush for blending. See, my DOGs know how to behave. Once they figure out I'm not talking to them and I'm not discussing going O-U-T, S-I-D-E, they're, they're completely fine and very well behaved. Sam and Sophie just got back from getting hay, getting hay for the horses. We're always getting some kind of food on this farm. And uh, we ended the vlog last night before even discussing Sophie's MRI. How did you find it, Sophie, the MRI? Terrible terrifying she hated it but she was good she didn't she doesn't she's not like she doesn't get super claustrophobic she doesn't get super claustrophobic she didn't have to make them stop or anything it was just yeah um, not a I good got situation a button thing like a squeezy thing to squeeze if i needed to like oh they squeeze. gave but i wanted to squeeze it so badly because i just wanted to squeeze it other news gabby got her first uh got, gabby got her final report card I for you her boyfriend i was like what <laughs> no no boyfriends yet, thank goodness. We're waiting on that. But Gabby got her her final report card and she did amazing. She got all over 90s. Every class was over 90. They all said something so positive like that she has incredible work ethic and that her um, that she put out so much energy and that she worked really hard and that she everything like, um, what else did they say? It was a pleasure to have her in their class and what else did they say? Just like a lot of really, really, really kind stuff that I agree with everything that they said. If they had said Gabby is unruly and disruptive in class, I would have been shocked. But anyway, it was a really successful first semester of high school. She got all honors and Sam and I are really proud of her.
Wow, what is Daisy, that about? Be nice. Be nice. She doesn't mind. Daisy's like, oh, I do not share. I will leave then. I just noticed on the camera that the goats are not where they usually are. So I'm gonna just go take a look and see if I can find them. I don't hear them either, which is super suspicious. I only have four apple cores. So I'm gonna have to break one in the half and give it to the ponies. One for you. One for you. <laughs> oh, I hear them. Oh my gosh. One for you. Ah, now I see why you guys are down here. You want to chase the goats, don't you? I bet you they're not letting the goats come in. One for you. And one for you. What's wrong? Why are you guys running around? I think these guys are trying to protect their field. Or... They're just goat watching. You remember the goats, honey? I think now that there's grass everywhere, they're like wanting to get out and see if they can browse. <laughs> you are really cute. I wouldn't come in here either. Makes me glad to see that the baby is with her herd though, because they're finally letting her kind of run with them. Storm just pushed Penny off the hay. Here's some hay. Uh-oh, that might not be a good idea because storm's gonna come. It doesn't really matter who eats the hay as long as it frees up where she can eat. So now Penny went to the hay bale and... Let's go get the goats. We're gonna have to open gates for them. Oh, is that why they can't get back through? They're fatties, Mom. They're fatties, Mom. Oh, no, anyway, so now Penny's at the round bale. <laughs> And Storm is, and Gracie's pushed up. He's choosing to be over there. I know. He's like my goat. <laughs> my goat friend. Do <laughs> you think Honey loves the goats? Or you think she she's... Let's chase them. Or you think she's protecting herself? Oh, they can't get... Strap. Yeah, I just fix pennies. Mm -hmm. All right, pregnant mamas. So they can't get back? Oh, so you're saying that... Man, what? You better... <laughs> they want in here. They, yeah. Why so... is she... I think the horses are preventing them from going back. No, they can go through the gate. Oh, you guys can go. <laughs> well, let's still go this way, huh? All right, let's go see if they follow us. Not you, not you, Minnie. Should we let them come with No. Oh, so remember. The snow melted, so they're like, yay, we can go out now. So remember, yeah, is that why they're out? Because the snow is melting? Um, Tilly goes under that spot. Look, <laughs> they all just jump through. We're sheep herders, let me show Sophie. You where Tilly can get out. And we don't own sheep. But I mean, the gate's open anyway, so. So I told you guys that today, yesterday was day 145 and that goats typically give birth between day 140 and one day 150. What? Most of them, most goats give birth on day 145. That's the average. Today is day 146 and this little goat is not showing any signs of giving birth, which means it's likely that she got pregnant later than the one time she got out. I don't know how that happened. I don't know, like, I don't get Put it. Put some of this on. Lip plumper? Look at Sophie's makeup. Just, just wait mm. for the burn. Yeah, lip plumper, if you guys don't know what it is, it's like lip gloss, and then it has little spikes in it, and it, it like shocks your lips and then they swell up. Wow. And that's what they call beauty. Um, well, it doesn't really work. It's, yeah, it it's burns. not working on me. It's not burning me. It, it burns. Does it? It just got, you gotta wait a minute. I gotta wait. Sophie and I just realized we screwed ourselves because we can't get out of here now. Wait, I can, I can be a ghost. This is locked. That's locked. Everything is locked. We have to go back the way we came. Right. I'm calling dad. <laughs> I'm calling dad. Oh. So you gotta squish through. Uh, you're just letting me in. Well. Oh, I feel the burn now. My lips are starting to burn. <laughs> Who thinks we can do it? Ah, go, go, go! <laughs> what? Oh, you weren't even here. If that's why I jumped on that door. Okay, wait, I'm gonna throw them some more hay. Hard. Hold on. I didn't let Lola out. Okay. Oh, Lola no. does Lola does what Lola wants to do. You have not trained her? I ain't trained her well. I don't train those. I don't. No. No. So she's not scared of Sophie? She just knows she's 
knows she's gonna be caught. She knows she's gonna be caught and taken outside. Grain is inside, so that's where she wants to be. Oh, got her. Okay, you get the door. Oh! Thank you, Rocco. <laughs> Thank you, Rocky. <laughs> Eat your hay, I give you fresh hay. They don't like old hay, they only like fresh hay. And now Storm and Penny are eating at the hay bale together. Go figure, and now the ponies okay, are in the barn. Okay, your horse started it. Yeah, my horse always starts it. He just lunged at Storm, and Storm just turned his head. Storm's like, you don't. But it's because Storm bothers her. I don't are you know. driving? Everybody bothers her. Why no, do I drive? Dad's driving. So this morning, I was the only oh. one up with Gabby. I was up before you though. Sam got up and woke her up because she had a lot of homework last night when we got home from the hospital. So she didn't get to bed till late, so she wanted to have a shower in the morning. So Sam woke her up at five. And this morning she was sitting there drinking her homemade coffee because I told you guys previously that in that I told Sam and Gabby that because I don't drink coffee, I think they need to cut down on like buying coffee at the coffee store. I don't think it's good for them to like drink two or three coffees a day going and buying it. Gabby's coffees are like five dollars each almost. Bah humbug, screws. <laughs> yeah, so anyways, it was like a New Year's resolution that we kind of made together as a family. We all agreed that we would like have less coffee. Basically, they have hardly got any coffee at the store. They've been drinking it from home. And this morning when she was drinking her coffee, she's like, I just really want a real coffee just one time. <laughs> I told her that we'd go and get one for her today. She can have it in the morning. She drinks an ice cap so she can store it in the fridge and drink it in the morning. But she just really wants a real coffee for one day. So today, Sam took the snowblower off of his tractor. And the surest, sure, most surefire way to get snow is to take the snow thing off your tractor. The least favorite animals for me to do chores with <laughs> the are the chickens. There's Ellie, she's ready to fight. Ellie. Uh, Ellie, stop. I Ellie. Got two. All right, so we're gonna. She yelled at me. He just accepted his fate. We decided to put the bigger chickens in with all of our chickens now, integrate them. Look at Penny Wangy. I know, I love you. Look at my bird again. Don't fight, just hide, okay? Hide with your mama. Because we love you. Go find the other I brought a bunch of apple things to throw in there to distract everyone. Stop! <laughs> Ellie! <laughs> Ellie! Come on, you're going to bed. Apparently one thing about Yorkies is that they never forget a debt. <laughs> she has hated that rooster. She has hated that rooster since the time she thought he was attacking me. And she, oh, that's the only, it's the only bad side of her. Most people put them in at night, which we are doing, but usually they try and sneak them in like after the chickens have gone to sleep. But I find that's impossible to do for us. So we don't we do that. Yeah, I gotta go get, put the egg up there. So, oh my gosh, I hear everybody screaming oh, for us. Oh, they're in the middle section. Oh. How'd they get there? <laughs> they go through the gates. They're like, well, the snow's gone, let's oh go. Oh my gosh, and okay, so. I do is I put a lot of feeders in there and a lot of waters and I give them some special table scraps that they will, I know that they will love to distract them. But I put three feeders, three waters, so that if anybody pushes them off the food, they have another one to go to. It's the same with every animal, horses, goats, you name it, it's the same. Is that really drying out the hay net? They really dragged out the hay net. The you horses see? dragged out the hay net. That's dangerous because Storm has shoes. Shoes. <sighs> Maybe the goats get it. Everything goes to hell when the goats get out. <laughs> <laughs> Just like when dad leaves. God. Why? Why are you guys here? Why? They're like, we know how to get you to come now. What's your reason for this? Come on, let's go to bed and get your dinner. Alright, be careful. <sighs> You can't leave that. What? I actually miss seeing them running around. So today I was reading. Because there's snow now. I was reading on one of my goat pages. The They're so weird. I was reading on one of my goat pages that I that I belong to. And this lady posted a picture of her goat that looks just like our white one. And she said, how much longer till my goat gives birth? And then everybody was saying like, I've been watching mine for the last month. 
I think it's gonna, I thought it was gonna happen weeks ago, still nothing. It's not gonna happen yesterday and it's not gonna happen tomorrow. You just gotta wait. Like So many people are in the same boat as us, waiting for their goats to give birth. <laughs> so many people. So at least I know it's normal. I don't know when they're gonna give birth, but I know it's gonna be before the end of March. <laughs> That's all I got. Yeah, just let them through. Come on, let's go to bed, little babies. They're like, it's snowing out. They probably got trapped. Go ahead. How did they make it through the gate in the first place? I don't know, they're goats. They're it's too fat. She's not even pregnant. These ones aren't even the pregnant ones. I know. <laughs> Come on. So if you go in and let me in. It's okay. We're gonna give you guys dinner. We made pizzas tonight and enjoyed our dinner. Like we all made our own pizzas and just had so much fun. Get out, oh gosh. I'm, ah, I'm getting horned. Sophie! <laughs> They're in, ow! Oh! They're in. <laughs> Who is horning me? It went right between the legs. Okay, they're hungry. I can't imagine a bunch of babies around here. I have sad. It's like seasonal affective disorder or whatever it is. I have sad, so he's making fun of me. She's not really making fun of me, she's just teasing me. She doesn't know it's a real thing. It's not winter specifically that does it to me. It's that I, on dark days, on dark days, it's dark days that do it to me, like today. Today has just been a really dark, today has just been a really dark day. And I don't feel depressed, like, like depressed. I just feel unmotivated and I feel restless and I feel a slight amount of, I don't know what to do. Like, I feel like, I, I feel like I can't figure things out. Like, I, I don't know. I'm a hyper person. I always need stuff to do. So days like today are kind of hard for me. It's like every morning I wake up and I'm super excited. Like before I even get out of bed, my legs are bouncing up and down and I'm so excited to see what, and I'm so excited to see what today brings. But in right, the winter, on dark days or on occasion, I wake up and I'm feeling like, why well, get up? There's nothing to do. He's like, oh, everybody's watching for babies, you guys. Everyone. He's like, fine, I'll just have this stall then. I hate his stall. I hate having barn cats. He's so fat. I feel like he's thinner. I just yeah, feel well, bad for them. Go catch a mouse, you'll feel better. And leave me some babies. He stays in in the winter. I notice that he really stays in in the winter because it's too cold. I know I've said this story before, but oftentimes when I wake up in the morning, I already know what my video is going to be and what are the things we're going to do that day. But days like today, so I gotta make you go to sleep with a good mindset. <laughs> like, let's have a room. I always have a good mindset, though. Like, I'm a happy, happy person. Like, not busy mindset. It's hard for me not to be busy. It's hard for me not to have like something to do. It's hard for me not to be doing stuff. And I know that there are other people out there that probably feel the same way. And if you do, comment below and tell me what you do to fix it. I take vitamins that help me with it. It's kind of a heart. So it's never like, yeah, they're goat footprints. Oh, look, that one's a heart. Oh yeah. See, I'm telling you guys this story and God is saying, don't worry. You got love. Guys, I did put nails on. Oh, Two yeah. sets, but I ripped them off. Oh my gosh. I do take vitamins. I don't find it helps at all. It's like, it's just not having something new to do, something to do to be busy. I have to be out and doing stuff. And all these animals that we have help me, especially in the summertime when I can walk outside and I have like a million things to do because it's nice out and there's sun. That helps me. Like, that's why people often say like, you're getting out of hand, you're having too many animals. Like, what are you thinking? But that's why, because I need to be busy to be mentally happy. Does that make sense? Whew. Anyway, I still am happy. It's just this much of an issue for me. But today was one of those days. Anyway, that is it. Whew. See you guys tomorrow. Don't you know that you're beautiful?